Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we entered the Dodongo's Cavern and while we were in there, we got some bombs. And so in this episode, we are going to finish up this dungeon and once we assemble the switch, uh, we have this uh, platform that will raise up. It actually serves as a uh, shortcut to um, get to the second floor of the entrance. So let's read the sign right here. It says, Giant Dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open. Now actually, I do want to show this off here. If you actually uh, zoom in here, look, close, look closely. Uh, remember uh, this uh, kind of what it's reading here? Is it a little familiar? Yes, uh, that would say, uh, ironically enough, that, that would say L is real. So yes, remember that kind of, uh, remember the, the text uh, from that fountain in the, uh, in the Castle Quarry Iron uh, Mario 64? Yeah, they, uh, looks like they actually brought over here in this game too, as a neat little reference there. It's a nice little, uh, nice little Easter egg, I would, if I do say so myself, so they just implement to, uh, to that, to this game here. So we're just about uh, pretty much at the tail end of this uh, dungeon. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, blow up this uh, wall that's right here, open this chest. And we have a uh, blue rupee. Yeah, it's just uh, for uh, rupee, rupees here, but I just I do just at least want to clean out this uh, dungeon. You know, with uh, just by opening all the uh, all those uh, chests I could find, even if it contains rupees and all that. But because, you, know, you know, you may never, you may never know. And, um, we, might, we might need some for the future, though. And I kind of fucked up on that one because what we gotta do is that you have to, um, for what the sign was saying is that, um, uh, we actually have to, uh, take those bombs and then drop them down to the, uh, to those eyes on that, um, on that, uh, Dodongo skull that you see there. And you wanna make sure to do it on both eyes, and it can be a little bit tricky at first because, um, because you wanna, you wanna do it with the right position just by doing it at the very edge of the bridge and then just, uh, dropping the, um, and dropping those bombs down. And then that way there you'll get the uh, door that opens. So that's why I kind of fucked up because I because I didn't know which uh, position that I should um that I actually actually just uh, drop the bombs down. And so with that then we can go ahead and um, get right in there. And actually before I, or before you do so, um, I just now remember that um, that uh, now that we have that, now that we have the bombs and we can actually use or use those anywhere we like. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and um, and uh, load that one wall that I couldn't do so before because. Um, because, like, I was trying to do that with those, uh, baby Dodongos, but I, uh, failed to do so. And I want to get to that wall because there's that, uh, gold Skultula that was, uh, that was behind there. So, I'll go ahead and, uh, go ahead and get that out of the way real quick. And so, just by, uh, blowing that up right here, we'll just go ahead and, uh, enter through this door that's right here. And then there we go. There's that, uh, well, there's that, uh, gold Skultula. There's also a lot of, uh, keys that you can see over there. So, we're just going ahead and, uh... Blow them up as well. Yeah, you can just say, uh, you know, blow them up with the uh, bomb if you ever wanted to. And there we have it. Uh, once again, I feel like that my commentary might be a little slow at the moment because um, I actually, uh, I just got back from work and um, it's, it was like, and it was like one of the busiest days that we had to go through. And also because it was raining today because uh, we've uh, once again just entered a hurricane season because um, cause our hurricane season actually started out on uh, June 1st. And so, because of that, uh, well, uh, to those of us, uh, you know, myself included, that are living in Florida, uh, there's going to be uh, quite a lot of uh, rain that goes on and off because apparently the weather can't even seem to make up its mind. So, yeah, it was raining real hard today, and um, and so I've been having to go through uh, a lot of uh, traffic as well because, uh, well, you know, because Central Florida especially is very notorious with a lot of traffic to go through, and, you know, with all, a lot of uh, people from, from uh, up north moving down here, and so, because of that, then, um, it, it gets so much, it, it gets so much more of a pain in the ass to drive around in Central Florida, because there, there would be so much of the fucking traffic, and it, it really does tend to just, you know, just, just whittle away, away at my, uh, sanity. It, it gets, like, too much there. So, because of that, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit exhausted at this point, but, you know, I do want to at least, uh, get this episode out of the way, because, like, because at this point, I've already noticed that, uh, you know, I can, I, my, uh, my uploading schedule seems to be pretty slow because, um, because, like, they're having those times I never able to because, like, I wasn't even alone at the house, and usually, I, I always prefer whenever, um, like, during the times when I'm, uh, by myself at the house, and, uh, nobody else is around, so where there, I can actually get this, get this commentary, but I didn't get those videos uploaded because I wasn't alone at the house, and so I had to go to work before then, and so I wasn't able to, uh, get the uh, videos uploaded so at the time I only uh I was only able to upload uh on like uh Sundays and Wednesdays but then none of the other days and so I didn't want that to continue so I really want to get this uh, video out of the way and just uh, get this one uploaded for you guys 
All right, so this should be just about the last room to uh, to get to, and uh, that uh, that door that we went to upon entering the um, the uh, Dodongo set, that was that was the boss room, and so there actually does involve a puzzle to um, to get to said boss room, and so there's a little switch in the center we need to find some kind of a block to uh, to uh, pull and then uh, then to push. We're, we're at, well, actually, well, well, yeah, push the or move the block basically over to the uh, switch to uh, to press on, and so that way there we can get into the to the uh, to the boss room. You'll probably notice that, like, at the moment, you know, um, in the, uh, previous, uh, Zelda games, uh, there were always these, uh, small keys in these, uh, dungeons and also the boss key. But yeah, in this game, uh, there are no small keys and then there's all, and there's no boss keys either. And so, uh, you probably might wonder, wow, that's, uh, kind of a first, because they're actually just going to the dungeon pretty easily without any of the, without any of those keys. Well, uh, spoiler warning, folks, uh, th uh later on, there actually will be dungeons that's going to have the keys and also the boss key, but that's only going to be in the second half of the game. But, you know, only for the first half of the game, then there's going to be none of that. So it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of more like a straightforward dungeons is what it is. And of course, uh, the uh, later dungeons probably be a little bit more complicated, and then especially one certain dungeon that we'll be, uh, that will be getting into later. But actually, as a matter of fact, uh, considering or considering the amount of times I played this game, I, I played this game so many times to the point that I practically, um, I practically know this game to the, like the back of my hand, and it's even to the point that I could even play this game blindfolded. That uh, that you know, I always know where I'm going, and um, you know, and, and th this also applies, you know, for the amount of, amount of times I play this game, this all this also applies to the 3DS version, like you know, playing this version and also the 3DS version. So like I've had so much experience with this game because like you know cons considering that um, I um, considering that I've had a lot of nostalgic memories with this game and you know and I played it so many times and even then I still love this game to death. I know a lot of you people will, I, I know a lot of people will say that this uh, this game is overrated. Why do you, you still love this game? Well, you know I never believe in the word overrated honestly. So I really don't give a shit. I love this game to death and so I'm still gonna play it. So anyway here we are here we are in the boss room. We got some bombs here that uh, that we will pick up. If, uh, if you ever do need so, because we will be using it a lot. And it's dropped down this hole, and, uh, oh. Uh, that's some, uh, big feet that we, uh, that we have here. Uh, what is going on? What's, uh, what's stalking me? Who's there? What's going on there? Oh, hello there. It's, uh, it's a big dude. Big dinosaur. Infernal dinosaur. King Dodongo. Alright, so, yes, here we have King Dodongo. This is a huge Dodongo that eats anything. Give it a shock and finish it off with your sword. So, what Navi means by shock is that uh, it's not really like electrocuting or anything. Uh, basically just feed a bombs like the other Dodongos. So, um, so what you gotta do is that, uh, the, uh, the so King Dodongo will actually uh, just uh, try to breathe fire at you. And once he opens his mouth, uh, that'll be your chance to uh, throw bombs at it. Or, of course, there's the uh, bomb flowers in the corner if you ever want to use those. But if you have bombs with you, then you just uh, throw them into them or into his mouth. And so that's what he'll be said. That's actually what she means by shock. So it really, uh, that's actually like, it contradicts itself really. And so once he's done, then just uh, give him some sword swipes. You can actually just use the uh, jump attack for, uh, for extra damage, of course, because, you know, it's uh, definitely a higher kind of attack. And then, you know, lather rinse for beat, and, you know, that's that's about it. It's, it's you know, just like with Goma, it's, it's a very easy boss. You can actually just achieve uh, it pretty easily if you just use the Deku Sticks because of more attack power. And so there we have it. Um, I think I just uh, heard a noise. I uh, don't know what it was. I'll, uh, let me go check it out real quick. Sorry, folks. Okay, sorry about that, folks. That was uh, that was my cat making the making the noise. I uh, thought I heard some or sorry, it was breaking about. Anyway, so now we defeated King Dodongo. We uh, got the Harpies, our container, and so hey, it's uh, Darunia. Hi there. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat the delicious rocks from the Dodongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. Um, yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Have it. That's uh, quite a lot. What a wild adventure! It will make an incredible story! I can't believe that the doggos suddenly appeared in such great numbers! And that big rock block in the block of the cave? All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, 
Give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, other hand risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sword brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. All right, and so with that, with the Dodongo scammer that's been uh, cleared, and so he's a uh, he's uh, going for some reason. He uh, has the power to just uh, make light balls appear. Uh, that's fascinating. But we know what he's about to give us, and so that, ladies and gentlemen, would be this one. And so, unless we now have the next spiritual stone, the spiritual stone of fire, the Goron's Ruby. Huzzah! Yes! And so with that, that means we have uh, two spiritual stones down. You obtain the Goron's Ruby. This is a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the, by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you'll keep brushing up on your skills as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy on top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother! Also, I gotta say, I, I actually really do love this scene here. It actually made me laugh when I was a kid. You did great! How about a big Goron hug, brother? <laughs> uh, I love that. Uh, run away, Link! We don't, we, don't want, we don't want any Goron hugs! No, I don't want to be choked to death by those, by those Gorons! No! But anyways, uh, so yeah, with uh, Dodongo's Cavern uh, now uh, down uh, down for the count. And so, now that we have the bombs, we actually just uh, go ahead and uh, just, you know, blow some more stuff up and uh, get some uh, needle uh, goodies or, uh, or there. And of course, uh, we have to kill these guys first, because, uh, well, they just, uh, just want to be in the way first. And so, um, yeah, you see these uh, walls there right there, you see that um, it's... Kind of, kind of looks like something will be a bomb below. There's, uh, there's actually a gold spatula that's supposed to be right inside there for what we can hear. And so there he is, right there. So we can just uh, use the bomb to uh, blow, that, uh, blow this rock up. And so now we have another uh, gold spatula that's uh, right there. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I actually do want to say there that is that, um, you know, I know there's been a lot of uh, people like nowadays uh, saying that uh, Ocarina of Time is so overrated, but you know, like I said, I really don't believe in the word overrated because it usually means, uh, you know, just basically like uh, just sapping away one's enjoyment of something. And, it's, and I, I just, I never really like using that word, and so I just, I never really believed in it. And of course, um, you know, I, I know it's definitely the one big game that, you know, everybody, uh, that, you know, everybody talks about it. You know, it's, um, you know, it's probably, probably one of the biggest games to ever come out. It's very critically acclaimed, but you know, I can always see that because you know it's it's definitely a good there's definitely a good reason why it's very critically claimed. And, you know I'm, I'm also one of those people as well, and you know um, I know uh, if you guys remember back in my let's play of a uh, link to the past where I um, I actually did prefer Ocarina of Time over that game. Well guys, my opinion still stands. I actually still do prefer Ocarina of Time over Link to the Past because you know I, I do have a lot of um I still do have a lot of fond memories with this game. I really do, and you know it's something I I'm always going to be going back to. So yeah, there's that. All right, so, uh, so as, you see, as you can see here, there's a uh, rolling go on that's uh, right here, and so if you want to go ahead and uh, place the bombs right in the uh, right kind of position where he's at, and so what he's going to do is that uh, he's going to go ahead and uh, give us uh, this right here. This would be the bib or big bomb bag, and I can carry more bombs up to a maximum of 30. And uh, yeah, actually, I do like how the uh, Super Game Brothers actually just uh, went and, uh, or this uh, like very fast they use like the, the big bomb bag. <laughs> I love that. I love when they do that, but, um... But yeah, with that, so now we have an, uh, so now we have a maximum, uh, or more of a capacity, uh, increase, uh, for, um, for bombs. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use more of those, uh, to, um, see what else is there. But yeah, you want to make sure you do this at the, at the exact spot where the, uh, rolling, uh, Goron is, and so, um, and so, as long as you do that, then you'll be able to, um, get the, uh, bomb upgrade. And so now with the bombs are disposed, we'll go ahead and um, blow more of this uh, stuff up that's uh, right here. Uh, more of these uh, rocks are around. And so there actually should be something at the very back of this room, and we'll see exactly just what it's going to be. And uh, yeah, I think at this point, for the rest of the video, we'll just, um, I'm actually just going to be uh, showing off some more things uh, with the bombs and uh, like basically some uh, gold spatulas, and also one other thing around in uh, Guan City that um, 
I do want to show off at first, but uh, we won't be able to uh, do that for, uh, well, for right now, actually. And so, uh... See, so, yeah, I think that's uh, about, like, all there is to say. But, um... Yeah, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm actually uh, still, uh, still a little exhausted from work, so that's why my uh, commentary might be a little, uh... Might be a little weak at the moment, so, uh... Hey, have you actually uh, heard the noise uh, from uh, Moran? Then that was uh, yeah, that's because I was just uh, checking this. Well, I I just had to take off my uh, headset because I had to I had to see what was going on with the noise that was uh, out um that was uh like out in the uh, living room. Like I, I thought I thought one of my um thought one of my roommates uh, might already uh, be home, but uh but no, it actually wasn't. It actually wasn't the case though. So, yeah, I think it was it was actually my cat causing trouble. So uh, I better uh, better check up on that once this uh, once the video is over. So um. Anyways, uh, so there's actually one more thing I do want to show off real quick before we, uh, before we end off this video. Um, so there's this, uh, there's bomba walls that are right there, so let's, uh, go and blow those up here. There's also the bomb flowers if we want to use those as well. So let's, uh, blow this, uh, next one up that's, uh, right there. And then there should be a couple more, and then, uh, and then we'll just, uh, see exactly what's, uh, what's mine there. And yeah, of course, there's just the last one. They, they, they just want to put up more bomb walls. That's, uh, that's there. And so, oh, hey there. It's a, it's a big dude right here. Well, I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's going to take a while. If you can wait five or six years, it should be ready, okay? All right, so yeah, keep, yeah I got to keep this in mind, folks. You got to wait five or six years uh, for this thing to be ready. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. So, uh, yeah, and I guess uh, probably, uh, I don't know, maybe reach those kind of adult years. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see about that. So, um, oh, actually, as a matter of fact, there's just uh, one last thing I do want to show off for us so before, before we end it off. Yeah, just just one last thing, folks. I promise. That's actually something I could have shown up before, but I haven't really had done so. Uh, this is the Goron shop. Uh, if you want to go and uh, buy some uh, things around in uh, Goron City, uh, we got a Goron tunic, which we can't really use at the moment in this uh, current state. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna have to wait uh, probably about five or six years, I would say. Anyway. And so with that, I think that should be uh, that should be it for this video. So next time, on let's play Ocarina of Time. We're going to go to the top uh, to the top of Death Mountain, and so uh, that way there we can see this uh, new power this uh, great figure will give us, and uh, I guess and then to uh, show off, or actually uh, to uh, do some uh, other uh, post uh, dungeon cleanup and then all that stuff. So until next time, see you guys later.